windows to the deep 2018 expedition, we're exploring the Southeast U.S. continental margin. The deep water areas offshore Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, and South Carolina are some of the least explored on the U.S. Eastern seaboard. This area is home to millions of Americans, yet we know so little about what's in our deep water backyard. The reason it's so unexplored in part is because lots of these features are very far from shore, it makes it difficult to get to them. And also, as you get closer to shore, you have to combat the Gulf Stream's currents, and those are very difficult, as we've discovered. I guess that's been a theme of this whole cruise is going to places that have not been explored before and having eyes on the seafloor for the first time. It's been an impressively overwhelming amount of input that we've received from the community. One of the best things that's come out of this expedition is that we've really addressed a lot of their needs. We've identified new coral habitats. We've located commercially important fishes. All of this information is really important to managing our deep sea resources in a sustainable way. We've had a chance to look at a whole bunch of different types of habitats that really haven't been explored before at all. These mounds occur throughout a huge region. And we were hoping to find just this. Perhaps this entire mound may be a very slow accumulation of these organisms. And that's exactly what we were hoping to confirm. Exactly, yes. <laughs> because this is one of hundreds and hundreds of these mounds. If even a fraction of them are covered in coral, such as this is, it really gives us an amazing perspective on how much coral might be down here and the extent of this coral habitat. For me, having worked on the mapping survey in 2014 for this whole area, I've always been curious ever since then about what was really there. So just having the opportunity to actually see what's living and growing down there and to see that it's a, such a remarkable habitat, really exciting to realize that that's covering probably a huge area that we're working in right now. It was very surprising what we found and how that kind of data and information about the seafloor in these areas can help us alter our expectation of these sort of lower relief and smaller features throughout the world's oceans. It's kind of exciting. It's, it's just been sort of all-encompassing for me. The discovery, exploration, education for me, and educating others and reaching out to the public. It's just been great. The beauty of these seascapes gives them an appreciation that you can't read about it and feel attached to it or understand its beauty and fragility like you can when you actually see it.